Um, let's keep it NFL. This transition. Um, as we talked about, Patriots are hot right now. They're going up against Buffalo. A couple teams that aren't too hot, but also suffer some big time injuries this week. Uh, looks like Christian McCaffrey and Dalvin Cook, two of the better running backs in all of football, will be done for the season. The Panthers have been struggling. They, they've lost two in a row after they won their first game with Cam back. The Vikings, whose offense is teetering on being very good, continue to find ways to lose. They lost again yesterday. Now they they might have lost their best offensive weapon. Somehow both these teams are right in the playoff mix. The Vikings are five and six. The Panthers are five and seven. Do you think either one of these teams can survive losing their running back for the way they have for the rest of the season? Well, I mean, the Panthers was already going. I, I thought it was over for them anyway. It just, we don't have to talk about them. As so far Cam, as you weren't impressed with Cam's five for 21? Nah, not a, not at all. <laughs> and, 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 and you know that we've been his biggest advocates. Like, we really want well for Cam Newton. We really want him to go and ball out because I still feel like he has years left, but he just hasn't impressed me, and we got to call a spade a spade on that one. You know what I'm saying? I'm not over here trying to agree. Agree. Nobody. If you don't perform, could it, if I if I if I'm on the show and I'm not and I'm not on my A game, y'all you're more than welcome to call me out and say, "Yo, trip, what's going on?" You know what I mean? So I, I may I can call you out. I can as much as I want you to win and do well. I gotta call you out. You know what I'm saying? When it's not that. Um, but as far as the Vikings go, um, I would say yes, they'll be good, just because I feel like you know you can plug in. Uh, you know, a, a running back to just hold a space. Obviously, it's not going to be Dalvin Cook, but when you you still have Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen out there, which actually works in my favor. You know what I mean? Because that'll just give my main man Justin Jefferson a few extra catches uh, moving forward. You know, for the season. Obviously, you can't replace a Dalvin Cook. You can't replace a Christian McCaffrey. Those are two of the top running backs in football. But I think Minnesota. Will be better. Will be better off than Carolina. Not that Minnesota is going to do anything great, because I mean, this at this point, their season is, season is over as well. So I'm not really looking for them to make a, any type of playoff push anyway. But you know, I think they'd act, they'd actually be able to maintain better than Carolina, just because you have Thielen and, and, and Jefferson still. I agree with that. The quarterback play is better in Minnesota. They still have two Pro Bowl caliber wide receivers. Um, Alexander Madison, who's, who's the backup running back, actually played well early in the season. I believe he had a 100-yard game against Cleveland the first time that Dalvin Cook was out. So at least they have a reliable backup. Granted, he's yes. not Dalvin Cook. Um, but as you mentioned, Carolina is in a really, really bad spot because the quarterback play there all season has been horrible. Sam Darnold obviously didn't realize he left the Jets because he was still playing the same way he did <laughs> as if he was with the Jets. Uh, Cam Newton, man. We, we've been big supporters. I, I love the idea of him going back home. I did say that my only concern was, could he learn the playbook fast enough? But it's not even about the playbook now. It's really about the execution. You can't go five for 21. Like Cam, you're a former MVP. You're a professional. You've seen enough defenses. You you got to be better. Five for 21? Yeah. I don't even know what to say to that, bro. Yeah, I mean, like, that's almost impossible to do in Madden. Five for 21? Yeah, so you got to be better than that, man. And and they and and they don't have anything close to a Justin Jefferson. Or yeah, but I mean, I, DJ Moore is, is a borderline Pro Bowl uh, receiver this year. Again, I, you you can check down a ball and get more than five completions. Yeah, you you could have been I'm just going on with that one. Yeah, you could have thrown a couple dump offs and a couple quick passes to the tight end, and at least got yourself to about ten for twenty one and make it look a little more respectable. Five for 21 is really bad for a former MVP of the league, man.